Hey, it's Jeremy with Elevate Body Fitness Professional. Today's video is going to be over how to build bigger shoulders for you beginners, so stay tuned. Again, if you're new to the channel or if you've been following along and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Hit the little red subscribe button and ding the little bell next to it. That really helps me and the channel grow. So let's go ahead and get started and working on our shoulders. Like always, it's really important that we know the anatomy of the muscle group that we're trying to target. So for shoulders, we have three heads that we're gonna really be trying to hit. So we have the front part of our delt, which kind of, it attaches up here and you can see how it goes down around this area and attaches. We have the, mi the middle part, which again, attaches up here, comes down, runs down through this area right here. And then we have the rear part of the delt, that actually attaches back here and comes and run, the fibers kind of run this way. It comes over and down and attaches down here as well. In order to hit all these, we're gonna have to be doing different, different exercises that are gonna be targeting the way these different fibers run. So we will go ahead and do an exercise that targets our front delt, our middle delt, and then of course our rear delt. So shoulders are kind of a big deal. This is probably the one body part where a little bit goes a long ways. And what I mean by that is if you're just able to put a little bit of exercise on your shoulders, everyone's gonna notice and you're gonna look really just like twice the size. So whatever you do, don't neglect this body part. Place as much emphasis on it as you do any other body part such as chest or, or biceps, triceps, or, or what, whatever it is that you really like. Don't neglect it. For this video, we're gonna go ahead and do our three sets, 10 to 12 reps. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. Okay, the first exercise that we're gonna do is the standing dumbbell lateral raise. So, like always, let's find a weight that's not too heavy for you. So, grab your weight, get the dumbbells out in front of us, get in a kind of our universal position with our butt kind of arched out like this. When we, we go up, what I like to do is put just a little bit of angle in my elbow. I don't want them bent, I don't want them bent too much, and I'm not gonna keep them straight. So, just a little bit of an angle, and when we go up, Remember, we're raising, lifting with our shoulders. And what I'll see is a lot of people, they use a lot of, a lot of momentum, don't do that. And also another really key thing to do with this exercise is what I like to, to tell like the people, or like the beginner and clients that wanna know the right form in order to do this, is keep your, keep your, your wrist in line with your elbow or even have your elbow up above your hand a little bit. So when you're, you can kind of see this angle. So I don't have my hands up like this. I'm not doing this. I'm keeping my elbows up. What that's gonna do is help create that mind muscle connection with your shoulders so that your shoulders actually lifting the weight. You're not using any kind of accessory muscles to help lift it. So let's go ahead, we'll grab our weight. Get in our stance, bend just a little, have a little bit of bend in our elbows, and then just raise it up. Use our shoulders. We're doing this, we're gonna do our three sets of 10 reps. You can do 10 to 12, just whenever you feel that, you feel it burning. Just like this. So, a little bit of flex in our, in our elbows, not bringing our hands up, keeping our elbows up a little bit, up over your hands or even in line a little bit, and using our shoulders to lift the weight. So go ahead and do three sets, 10 to 12 reps, and we'll go ahead and move on to our next exercise. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is the upright rows on the Smith machine. Okay, for this exercise, like all exercises, hand placement on this is crucial. So what I like to do, and some people, you know, have different opinions on where they like to keep their hands. Again, this is my personal preference. I keep my hands just shoulder width apart and I keep my thumbs over the top. I'm not, I don't wrap my thumbs. I keep my th thumbs up over the top. So in order to kind of keep my balance while doing this, I kind of, kind of arch my back a little bit, keep my butt out and I'm going to run the bar. The bar is going to kind of run up close to your body and it's gonna have a stopping point just below your chin and that's gonna force your elbows to kind of be up and out so that you're keeping the tension on your shoulders. So when we do this, hands shoulder width apart, my thumbs go over the top and just bring the weight up, bring the weight up slow just below your chin and let it down. You don't want to, again, don't use a weight that's too heavy for you. Your shoulders are super important and easily, easy to hurt 
So we don't want to, we don't want any harm to our shoulders. We want to make sure that we're using good form. We don't want to tear anything. So bring the weight up, elbows go up and out. Nice, slow and controlled contractions. And don't let the weight drop fast. The eccentric part of our contraction is, is just as important as the concentric part of the contraction. And actually during the eccentric is whenever there's actually more muscle fibers that are gonna be tearing. So bring it up, slow down. Up, slow and control down. Just like this. We're gonna do this for 10 to 12 reps. Don't use momentum like this. That's not placing any tension on your shoulders. Slow and controlled. So, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. And if you don't have access to a Smith machine, that's okay. You can do it. You can grab a straight bar like this. Do the same, perform the same exercise. I just like to do it on the Smith machine. So, you can do it with a straight bar. Get your shoulders up and out, hands over the top. Just like this. Just like that. So do that, your shoulders should be on fire and we'll go ahead and move on to our next exercise. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is the seated overhead dumbbell press. So for this exercise, like all the exercises, grab a weight that you can lift controlled and I like to go ahead and put the dumbbells up on my knees. So when you do this exercise, you can actually kind of keep your elbows for like inward just a little bit. You don't have, don't have to bring the back, bring them in just a little bit. And what's super important for this one is let the weight sit across like the bottom of your palm so that you don't have a lot of weight. You don't want it sitting up here on the top, around the top of your hand because you don't want it bending back. You, you know, you're, look at the line. Like you're, you're gonna be able to keep the most pressure in a straight line that runs, you know, with your, with your arm. So put the weight across your palm so that whenever you do start progressing in weight, you don't get a lot of back bend on your hand. That's gonna hurt and that's not gonna be good. So if you don't have a spotter, grab the weight, use your knees to kick the weight up. Don't try to ever yank the weight. Whatever you do, we never yank, like we never yank any of the weights because we wanna control it so that we don't cause harm or, or tear any muscles. So kick the weight up. <sighs> Kind of keep your elbows forward just a little bit and then press up, keeping it across the, our palms and just push up, just like this. And as you see, I kind of, I've kind of grown to bringing the weights in a little bit. I kind of, I'm used to doing that. Just bring them up and kind of come in, keeping the tension on my shoulders the whole time. I know some people that will, act, will actually do these and actually go out. That's all right too. It's kind of whatever, it's kind of whatever you grow comfortable to doing, you know? So weight on your knees, kick them up. Weights across the, the palm of your hands, elbows in just a little bit and press up. Slow and controlled on your contractions. I always think of this, whenever I think about lifting weights, I always think of a machine, like a hydraulic lift how smooth, how, whenever it, it's movement, it's going smooth. It never jerks, there's, there's never any jerking, it's just smooth. Just, I mean, that's kind of how I think of, what I think of whenever I lift. I think of just smooth contractions. So, so our body is like a well-oiled machine. So that's it, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise. All right, so the fourth exercise we're going to do is on this rear delt machine. Again, I like this machine because it's designed for your rear delts. It's kind of difficult to mess it up because it only has really one movement. So as long as you have the right body mechanics on it, you should be good to go. So what I like to tell beginners, and, and this machine can be performed a couple different ways to, to be able to, to target your rear delts. But for beginners, hand placement. If you can see, I think I like to try to tell the beginners to kind of keep their palm or not the, the back of their hand facing outward. I mean, once you create that mind muscle connection to where you can do it with your hands up and down and go back, that's okay. But as a beginner, I think I personally think it's easiest just to do it with your, the bottom of your hand outward. So when you get on it, when you sit down, you're going to grab it like this and 
keeping your elbows up. I mean, most exercises that are going to be for your shoulders, you're going to just always remember elbows. Elbows are going to be kept up. So we bring this all the way in. We're keeping our hands on it where the bottom of our hands are outward. And then we just take it, keep our elbows up and bring it back until we feel that resistance back there. And then we can bring it, let it, bring it back in. So go outward and you can, you can have just a little bit of bend in your arm just so you can feel your rear delt firing. Don't, I, I wouldn't bring it in too much or you can kind of have it, you can almost have your, you can have your arm straight if you want because it's all about feeling, getting targeting your rear delt. So do it just like this and you can feel it, you can feel it working. But again, we're just creating that mind-muscle connection, focusing on the muscle that we're working. And we're gonna do our three sets, 10 to 12 reps. So three sets, 10 to 12 reps on this machine. Bottom of our hands up and out, elbows up. Elbows can be bent just a little bit, or you can keep them straight. And just bring it in and going outward. Going outward, just like that. So that's it for our shoulder workout. We've, we've targeted our front delts, we've targeted our the side delt, and we've targeted our rear delt. And I'm gonna show you one more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more exercise. So if you don't have the machine in order to target your rear delts, you can grab some dumbbells. So let me show you the right way to do this is bend over, I like to, Again, put the, I'm gonna put the weights in between my feet and the bottom of this bench and palms up and out. So we can, what we're going to do is just bend over, keeping our palms up and out and bring it up. Just bring the weight up. Keeping the, bo the bottom of that dumbbell toward, up toward the sky and getting good smooth contractions. So you're really doing kind of the same, same angle that you were doing on the machine. It's just now we're doing it with dumbbells and there's a better chance that you could actually not use the best form possible. But if you don't have the machine, it's okay to go ahead and do this. And of course, as we get more advanced, we'll do a lot more with um, less machines, more free weight work. All right, that's a wrap on how to build bigger shoulders for beginners. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, help me out. Hit the little thumbs up like button. That helps me and the channel grow. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box. I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. And until next video, thank you for watching, guys.